political sensation in the national capital. The Prime Minister, Mr. Whitlam, has been sacked. The opposition leader, Mr. Fraser, is the new Prime Minister of Australia. Sir John also asked Mr. Fraser to guarantee supply. He has done that, and only a matter of half an hour ago, the Senate passed the two appropriation bills. Once again, there will be a Labour government chosen by the people of Australia. Now, we've just received news. There's a press conference going on in Canberra right at the moment. We'll endeavour to take you there live. Uh, how does it feel being the first Prime Minister since Federation to have been sacked by the Crown? And I'm, the, the... I'm the first for 200 years since George III sacked Lord North. <laughs> <laughs> Constitution of this country. Or was it just a stroke of good luck for Mr. Frazier? No. Thanks very much. Just one minute. Now that there's going to be an election, what, what chance do you think he has? Oh, I don't think he'd have much. No. I'm not actually terribly interested in politics. I think it's crazy. He's completely unexpected. He's been fired. Fired, wonderful. <laughs> what good. do you think of it? I'm amazed. <laughs> It places on record that it is, is a reality now, uh, no longer a theory, that the Governor-General can dismiss the Prime Minister who holds a majority in the directly elected House. Good evening, and I'm George Negus, and welcome tonight from a somewhat mullet-like Canberra. We're all a bit stunned, as a lot of you now that no doubt are as well. We'll be giving you a complete political roundup of the political events of today in the ABC's news at 7 o'clock tonight.